This is Robert from Lounge Audio. I'm going to go over what makes a phono preamp. First of all, there are many preamps out there that you'll see when you look, if you do a Google search just on preamp, you'll find microphone preamps, you'll find something called line preamps, you'll find preamps for recording studios, preamps for home use, uh, control preamps that have different inputs in the back for CD, for other devices. But you don't have a photo preamp unless you have an RIAA circuit in it. And when you look on a receiver on the back, you'll see phono somewhere many times, especially a vintage receiver. That input has an RIAA circuit. All the other inputs on the back of that, the aux, stereo, it'll say FM, uh, CD, different things like that. Those are all have what's called a flat frequency response. They don't apply any EQ or anything. They just take in the signal and amplify it. Also, a mic preamp is the same thing. It has a flat frequency response, and it just takes the microphone signal in and amplifies it. If you take any of those kind of circuits and you apply an RIAA EQ filter to it, then you have a phono preamp. You can do it anywhere in the signal chain. It just has to be done somewhere. It could be done early on in the, in the signal chain, right back at the first, uh, very first amplification element, like the very first tube or the first op amp that the signal comes in off the phono stage. Or it can be done later in a computer at the very last, uh, last part of the signal chain if you want. So um, let's just go over what exactly I'm talking about graphically. So right here, this red line is the, is the RIAA curve. Now, when a person cuts a record, they have to use an inverse of this curve. That's called the inverse RIAA. It is this blue dotted line here. What does this blue dotted line mean? Here's your bass frequencies down here. Here's your high frequencies here. It has cut the bass to a very low level and amplified the highs to a very high level. That is how the signal that's considered flat when you set up a microphone in a room and you record an event in a room like a violin player or something and you take it in and you record it onto tape or what's called direct to disc. Right before you cut that to a disc, you apply this curve to it. Cut the lows, boost the highs. That's what this gentleman here is doing when he cuts an audio signal onto this lacquer master here. He's cutting what's called an inverse RIAA curve. A phono stage undoes that for the playback. So a phono stage takes this red line, applies it to this blue line that's been cut into the vinyl, and you get a, what's called a flat response, which would be a straight line straight across the middle of the picture here. That's the way a photo stage is made. As long as you do this red line somewhere in the signal chain, you will be able to hear a record the right way. One thing that people do that is very confusing to, uh, to, to many people is they will record off of a, off of a record a flat representation of a signal straight into digital domain, into a computer or into a, uh, some kind of record, digital recording device and apply this curve digitally. And that's fine to do. That works. Audacity even, free download, has this curve and a whole bunch of other different versions of this curve to take care of other earlier type uh, curves that are like this that were used on 78s. Audacity has a whole big selection of curves like this so that you can take in a record flat into digital domain in your computer and then apply this curve to it at the, at the very end. And then you hit play on Audacity and you listen and it sounds right. Now, but what most phono stages do is they do it right at the beginning stages, right after the first amplifying device. And we'll get into different ways that that can be done in later videos. We're going to do some videos concentrating on RIAA, the history of RIAA, and different ways to do RIAA in electronic circuits, and how Lounge has done it, and where Lounge might be going into the future very soon. So uh, stay tuned, 
and we'll go over this in more videos later. Thanks for watching.